Sheldon, thank you so much. Welcome Hi, to my channel. You? I'm good. I appreciate that. Thank you. So thank today you. we're just going to talk about your journey and how you got to finding Legends Barbers and the recent success that you guys have made as a as a company as an organization. So yeah. tell us a bit about yourself, and then we're gonna we're gonna go forward from there. Yeah. So I think like uh, my name is Sheldon, and and I come from a humble background in uh, El Dorado Park. So so basically. Uh, just a brief background about me, it's like the situation where I grew up in, it was, it was very, it was very tough for me, I understand, especially as a kid coming out of El Dorado, but yeah. having to, to have a dream, you understand, because, and, and like trying to find role models out there, because it's, because especially like in a, in a place like El Dorado, but there's no role models to say, I understand, if you look at role models, you get like guys like, like, like your gangsters, mm -hmm. guys selling drugs, you understand, and you see those guys fishing cars and stuff like that. So those are the type of lives that they never wanted to live, you understand? Yeah. But they understand what the guy went through, you understand? So so those were basically the things that I saw when I was growing up, you understand? And and like basically uh, I had a few options to make, you understand? Choices in life to make. So either is either I do this or I do that, yeah. you understand? So so there's always like like I can remember like a friend of mine, uh, a very close friend of mine, you understand, today they are, I think he's still around and he's doing his thing, but but he was, me and him grew up together, you understand, in the same neighborhood, same flats, you understand, we grew up together and 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 he turned out to steal cars yeah. and I turned out to do something else, you understand, so, yeah. so, so just to think about basically the choices that you make in mm -hmm. life, you understand, along the way it does have a major effect on mm -hmm. So that's basically where we come from. So you basically, another example of, it's not where you come from that matters, but it's where you end up um, yeah. landing. So after high school, you know, we're always told to go, go work, find a job. Yeah. And I read that you were in the corporate world for a year or so, and yeah. you just didn't enjoy it. But why? Because that's what you were supposed to do according to society. So what happened in the corporates? Like as soon as I finish school, uh, I mean like I used to always cut hair, you understand? But I never thought that the cutting hair would I can actually make a hair out of it. Mm -hmm. You see, and uh, and then basically my uh, uh, just when I done done school, like I said, like I had options. Is it is it I join my friend and still cars? or I basically go work in a corporate and, and basically go do something that I don't like, you understand? <laughs> so I ended up doing something that I don't like. Yeah. And, 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 and I was actually there for like, uh, like five to six years. Oh, I, was, wow. I was basically at the uh, Standard Bank call center mm -hmm. and it's been crazy, man, you understand? Every day you wake up and you go to something that it's like, you understand? It drains you. Yeah, it drains yeah. you personally. And, and, and basically, the time when I got excited was after work because after work I had a chance to go cut my customers. You yeah, yeah, yeah. So those were the times where I like, you know what, I'm excited to go cut my customers there, I'm excited to do this. Yeah. You see, so those are the things basically that that uh, that actually brought me through this whole journey. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you started cutting here at age fourteen yes. for fun, right? Now you dirty. And how has cutting hair, first of all, shaped your life? Yeah. What are some of the people, or who are some of the people that you've met that have made you a better person? Yeah, I think like, I think like people don't realize it, but, but something is called cutting hair. I always say like, it's not the haircut, you understand? It's basically the relationship you have in the haircut. It's deep, yeah. You understand? It's not the haircut, you understand? Because, because the haircut is something that anyone can do. Mm -hmm. But the relationship that you build with other persons on the chair, I mean, like, there's a reason why I'm sitting here today because of all the people that's invested in me mm -hmm. just by them sitting in the chair that yeah. I was cutting, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so all the people that basically spoke into my life, that's, mm -hmm. uh, they basically gave me advice, you understand? Mm -hmm. That, uh, so all of these people invested in me somewhere or other. So, so it's been, it's been a tremendous journey just mm -hmm. through that, you understand? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think like, so I think like, uh, a lot of people don't see the opportunity when somebody like uh, who 
there they are sitting on the chair, you mm. understand? Mm. It's, it's really, it's really tremendous just to get advice from the boss. And yeah. you're not paying for it. It's free. True. Yeah, They're yeah. paying you for the haircut. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Free advice. Yeah. So, yeah. Legends Barbers, that's the name of your amazing company. Where did it's, the name come from? So, so the name came from when we started out back in 2011. Uh, we used to go out to the old age home a lot. Uh, we okay. used to go out to, uh, to uh, there was an old age home in, uh, in El Rado Park, you understand? So we just done it for fun. And, uh, and, and we used to go, go on a regular basis every month. Uh, and then, and then we decided, you know what? At the time, there was no name for the barber shop, so we decided, you know what? Let's uh, let's name the name after the elders from from uh, oh, wow. from the old home. So that's they deep. actually the legends of our community. You oh, understand? Wow. So that's, that's what it was called, yeah. Legends Barber Shop. Legends yeah. Barber Shop. And talking about community, you know, um, the coloured community in South Africa as a whole mm-hmm. is very to themselves. Yes. And I understand why. And I wanted to know. How do you feel about the impact you've made? Because when they see you, you are the role model for a lot of the Kali people. Um, so how, how do you go on about being that role model and how has it kept you in line um, with regards yeah. to the way you live? I think like, I think like just, just basically everything I do, you understand? Like, like people take note of everything I do, you understand? 100%. And I think like for me uh, to be considered the role model to the kids out there, especially in the community, Understand? It's amazing. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because I mean, like, just to live up to it, to, to, for them to have a positive role model, for them to look up to somebody in a positive way, not to look up to gangsterism, but to say, you know what, I can do anything I want to do. You understand? Yeah. Who would think of making a career out of cutting hair? Who would have think of making a career out of doing something else? You understand? So mm-hmm. it's just that type of thing where it's like, you know what, coming from wherever I am, you understand? Despite despite the circumstances, yeah. despite whatever, you understand, I can still do it, you mm-hmm. understand, so, so, so I think like, uh, just to be that role model, it, it's quite, it's quite amazing for the kids out there mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. And now, Legends Barbers, because you know, we spoke about the journey leading up to this uh, company, so now Legends mm-hmm. Barbers as a whole, why are you guys so successful? Um, because everybody knows you, everybody yeah. talks about you, we see celebrities, yes. soccer players, <laughs> you name it, everyone yeah. comes to you guys. What makes you guys so special? Yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody asked actually on Twitter the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, somebody asked it on Twitter the other day. What's so special? Mm. I think like, I think like, firstly, 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 when you walk into any bar shop, you can feel God's presence, you understand? And I think like that's one of the, the major things, you understand? Because whenever we start our day, we start off with prayer. Yeah, I was told when I came in here, I was yeah. like, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I understand. So we start off with prayer. Wherever you are, whichever shop you're in, understand, you make sure you start off with prayer. So that's just part of our culture. Then, then the second thing is what I spoke about. It's basically building relationships with people. You'll find that you'll find that the consistent customer base that keeps on coming each week in, week out mm-hmm. at every store, it's, it's, it's basically insurmountable, you understand? Mm-hmm. Because Mm-hmm. Because we build a relationship with each and every person that comes through, so it's mm-hmm. no more about about just the haircut. It's 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 basically that relationship that mm-hmm. we have, and basically the brotherhood we have mm-hmm. in the shop. You understand? Yeah. So so I think like that's what what makes it so special. Mm-hmm. You see, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think like those are the most key elements in it. You understand? Mm-hmm. And you know, I was speaking to someone this morning, and it was like. Uh, we rather we rather always serve one person to the best of our ability than to serve ten people to the best of our ability because okay. you end up finding that that when you serve this one person, this one person will continue to tell the next person, yeah, the next person to understand. Yeah. But but if you want to force yourself to serve him and basically uh, trying to serve as many people as possible. Uh, then you need to be training yourself, you understand? So, so I think like one of the main things is just to focus on one person at a mm-hmm. time. So, yeah. No, you've just spoken about, I mean, you've, you've just shown how humble you guys are as a company that you forgot to speak about the quality yeah. of cut yeah. that you guys produce. That's how <laughs> humble you guys are. Yeah. I've seen your stuff everywhere. Yes. Your guys' quality is literally top yeah. notch. So how do you guys train your people? Does everyone yeah. cut the same way? How do you guys get to that level of perfection? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think like so I think like uh, uh, one of the one of the things that 
I was basically speaking to a customer in the opening of a wonderful corner and, and basically this guy was saying, you know what, I've been to all your store openings <laughs> and everyone, everyone did kind of say. <laughs> How do you guys get there? Because it's yeah. amazing, seriously. Yeah, so before before the guys go into the store, so we have a six month training program. So wow. during the six months, the guys get, get basically trained from the basics up until the end, you understand? Mm. So, so in the training, it's not only about the haircut, it's about building relationships, it's about communication. It's all of these different elements that basically creates a legendary bubble, mm -hmm. you understand? So so basically, there's a lot of guys at the, at the training centers, mm -hmm. as we speak. Mm. We have now approximately nine training centers across, across Okay, one in Botswana now. Mm -hmm. so, we oh, have, wow. so we have. So you guys are creating jobs as well for the people. I understand, and wow. these guys basically lead into the new shops that we mm -hmm. open. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's why we we don't open shops as as like frequently. Mm -hmm. you understand? We try to place ourselves yeah. in a way that the guys, if our guys are prepared, then you'll then you open, open, yeah. open yeah. them too. So what do you guys base your training on? Like, I mean, no, no, your your standards. Who yeah. do you base your your cutting standards on? No, it's it's basically also in terms of like uh, what we do, how we always keep up with the trends. Mm -hmm. So, so what we do, like there's a lot of guys we have from the states also. You understand mm -hmm. where we we always communicate to them and and you understand just just basically the networking. Mm -hmm. You understand just to find out the products they yeah, use, yeah, yeah. Uh, the you know, basically the things that we can implement. Mm -hmm. So it's always evolving and it's always like keeping up with the latest trends. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I hear you sell stores. Now, can you tell me about the stores you have in South Africa? And do you have any intention of going up into Africa and into Europe, maybe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we have, so we have uh, stores across South Africa. We have now 10 stores across South Africa. Wow. So we have uh, five in Johannesburg, mm -hmm. two in Pretoria, one in Sun City, Rustenburg. Uh, we have uh, Durban, one in Durban and one in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Waterfall just opened. <laughs> Waterfall just opened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's that's part of a five that's in Germany. Mm -hmm. So so yeah. So you know, so we have these ones, uh, and uh, and we're planning on moving into Africa soon. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully this year we're planning on opening a couple of stores in Africa as well. And what are some of the challenges you've encountered as a business owner? Yeah, what? there's a lot of challenges. You understand? I mean, like we can go on and on. You understand? There's, there's people. There's basically. There's been people that that has basically uh, turned around and said, you know what, I'm I'm going to poach the whole the whole Legends Barbers mm -hmm. and I'm going to take him and I'm going to open my own store. Mm -hmm. Even up until today, you understand, there's there's guys that's coming in basically with serious money, you mm -hmm. understand, poaching our guys and and uh, and basically telling the guys, you know what, come to my store, I'm going to pay you more, you mm -hmm. understand, and you end up finding these guys are just like money laundering. Understand. So there's different types of things that's happening in the industry mm -hmm. where people don't notice in mm -hmm. the background. You understand? And uh, and yeah, and yeah, and I think like those are type, those are a few of the challenges mm -hmm. that happen. You understand? Uh, and it's and it's quite unfortunate because I mean like uh, uh, for 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 these guys not wanting to build something from scratch. Mm. I understand because the training that we give the guys yeah, from Yeah, you know, yeah, you invest so stuff, much in them. You understand? There's a lot that you do, you understand. But then like uh, most of the guys don't opt for the option to leave. Understand? Because they can see where the business is going, how the business is growing, and they can see a lot of people raving about mm. legends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think like that's the nice thing about it. And what do you love the most about your job? Like what's the what's the best yeah. thing ever? I think just waking up in the morning, eh? just waking up in the morning and just thinking, hey, today is going to be a nice day. You understand? Jeez, there's Jeez. not something, there's not, there's not a day when I wake up and it's like, and it's like, like you know what, I'm not going to mm. enjoy today. You understand? Mm. So, so I, I get excited every day. You understand? Mm. I get, I, I, I get thrilled just to face another day. Yeah. You understand? So, so I think uh, that's basically how. How I see, how I see, basically my life being out. You understand? Yeah. Because I don't want 
to do something that I don't like doing. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. want to be stuck in that same situation yeah, yeah, yeah. where I woke up every day being Muslim. You yeah. understand? I just, I just enjoy, yeah. enjoy serving people yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who, who are your inspirations? Like who, who keeps you going? Because you know, yeah. sometimes you do go through the tough times. Yeah. Who's there to always, you know, lift you up and be like, come on, go again, Sheldon, you know? Yeah. yeah so, so there's a couple of people. There's a couple of people. I mean, like, uh, there's a customer I've been cutting for the past twelve years or so. I understand. So he's been he's been basically my inspiration from the get go. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, he's he's always give me advice. I understand. Mm-hmm. Whenever we're together, I understand. So he always tell me like what to do and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh, he's he's part of my inspiration. And there's and there's also like uh, there's also other guys along the way. I understand. And and these are the guys that that are not well. Uh, how can I say well noticed or famous or anything? Mm-hmm. But they, but they more of a, su- a support structure than anything else. Mm-hmm. Understand? Mm-hmm. I mean, like when I see them, you understand, and I just bounce some ideas with them. They, yeah. they really, really, really do help me. Mm-hmm. And I think, and I think, uh, I think, and it's basically just through cutting air. It's mm-hmm. not, it's exactly. not to anything else. Yeah. Understand? It goes back to a point. It's just through cutting air. Mm-hmm. Just, just being able to build this relationship mm-hmm. with these guys along the way. Mm-hmm. So that's powerful. And to wrap up, um, what are your plans personally mm. for the next couple of years? And uh, to close, what advice would you give a young person like myself? Yes. You know, who's trying to find themselves in society. So yeah. So what? What I advise a lot of youngsters now, I understand, is 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 basically focus on focus on what you do. You understand? Put all your attention in it now. You understand? Especially especially now because. Because I mean, like you, you're still young, you're still yeah. in your twenties. You understand. So you focus on something now, and, and you focus on it for the next five to ten years. You understand. Just focus on one thing. Don't focus on a lot of things. I think many guys make a mistake on focusing, putting their energy in different places. And you understand. People just know know me, me as to the guy of legends. You understand. There's nothing else I do besides legends. You understand. So focus on one thing. Uh, put all your energy in that thing. Use social media to your benefit. I'm trying. You understand? <laughs> Use social media to your benefit. Yeah. You understand? It doesn't matter. Keep on, keep on knocking. Keep on yeah. knocking. You understand? Yeah. YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, mm. all of these things. Use it to your benefit because because people, those are the consumers, you understand? Mm-hmm. They're always looking for great content. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah. So use it to your benefit. And I'm telling you now, it's like, it's like, like especially what you're doing, you understand? If you can put this thing on any other network or wherever, you understand? It doesn't even have to be on like on a, on a television mm-hmm. or something. You can just put it like online, mm-hmm. you understand? And I'm telling you, it's on the blog, you understand? People yeah. are going to start asking yeah. for you. Yeah. There's many of guys that's been, a couple of years ago, they, they weren't so well known. Mm-hmm. And today, everyone is talking about them because of content they produce, yeah, yeah, yeah. you understand? So, so yeah, so yeah, yeah. Work on your work on your content. Thank work you so on much, what you yeah. do. You understand? So I think like that's that's key. Mm-hmm. That's key because now it's it's much more easier to make it now. Yeah, yeah, much yeah. more easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to think of uh, when you were still growing up. Yeah, you understand when you were still coming up. You understand? There wasn't Facebook. Yeah, there wasn't, yeah. There wasn't <laughs> like it's much more yeah. easier. You understand? Mm-hmm. And people are people are always on their phones. People are always definitely. Looking at streaming mm-hmm. and stuff, so the market is open for us. Mm-hmm. Understand? So, so our plans now for for the next couple of years, we we planning to our 2030 plan is to have 200 stores across Africa. Oh, wow. you understand? So that's basically. I wish you guys all the best. Yeah, no, thanks, thanks a lot. It's it's very it's very brave. Mm-hmm. It's very uh, out there. You understand? So it's <laughs> yeah. So it's something that we're working towards. Uh, but you will get there eventually. Mm-hmm. You will get there. Understand? Yeah. Just to uh, just a quick one. Uh, five years ago, five years ago, when I relaunched my barber shop, mm-hmm. understand? Because we closed down and we relaunched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, five years ago, I decided I'm going to make a goal for myself, and I'm going to open five stores in the next five years. And this was and and now we stand on our tenth store. And it was mm-hmm. like so double. It's crazy, you understand? And July wow. we celebrating our birthday, That's and it's like five years, and I was like, it's That's crazy. Amazing. It's That's, really, really that crazy. is so amazing. I am yeah. so happy, and I'm so proud of you. And you gotta keep on pushing and yeah, keep, you know, 
making a positive impact in society yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And to you guys, you've just heard and you've just seen that it's not where you come from, you know, it's just where you land up, it's where you're going, man. Always remember to be humble, work hard, trust in God, focus, and something is going to open for you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all your support from the bottom of my heart. And stay tuned for the next episode. And shout out to Leonie at the back of the camera. And thank you so much for watching. I'm